Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to learn this sum in oblique. Now in this they have given front view and right hand side view. So first we will draw a box. See the length is 60. So I will take 60. And height is 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 20. That is 65. And width will go on right side. Right? Width is how much? 30. So I have taken 45 degree as receding angle. In exam, if they will give you 30 degree, then you take 30 degree. If they will give you 60 degree, that time you can take 60 degree. But by default, we take 45 degree. Height is 65. Then complete the box. So this is O and forty five degree. Now this is sixty. Height is 65 and width is 30. So we are done with the box. Now this is part 1. This is part 2. This is A, B and C. So we will start with part 1. See this part 1 is here. Nearer to you. Right? So we will draw this part. And then part 2 is behind. So we will take height 30. That is 15, 15. Then we'll draw horizontal line. Then you mark 30. And from here you mark radius 15. Then we'll take center point and from there we'll take radius 15. Then you can join all this line and you'll get part 1. Now remember one thing, whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. So with that concept, take all these points behind, but how much behind I should go? That I'll come to know from side view. See how much is this? 30. So from here, this way, L shape, see this L shape, I can draw, inverted L shape. So this is 30 minus 10, so it is 20. So I'll take 20. Then I'll go up. Draw this line and this line. Now this is 60, so you can draw 60. You can take 10, 20, 
2010. Now this is how much inside? 20. So you go 20 behind. See, take this radius 15, go behind by 15 and draw. Sorry, go behind by 20 and again you draw radius 15. This line will be done. So we are done with part 1 and somewhat part 2 also. Now we need to draw that circle which is radius 20. So take radius 20 and draw. Then you take that line behind by 10. See this way. Then take this point behind by 10, center point. This is A, then you go behind by, sorry, P, and this is Q. So take this radius, from Q you can draw R. See this, same radius, 20 you take. Take this radius, go behind by 10, and you draw radius, 20. Then you draw tangent. From P you can draw axis line. So wherever you have circle, over there you need to draw axis line. To show center. And you can do dimensioning. Thank you. This is very helpful for engineering students as well as those who are doing technical drawing and those who are in diploma courses. For them it is very useful. Thank you.